All right, Mooch Lifers, today we're coming at you with Camaro content. Behind me, one of my best friends, Nick, Tarmageddon ZL1, I'm sure you know him. He got himself a first-gen Camaro, a 69 SS. It is awesome. And I've never been in a first-gen Camaro ever in my life. And today we're taking you guys for a sweet little ride. This video will be first time ever in a first-gen Camaro. So stay tuned, enjoy the video. We're going old school, 1969 style. Keep watching because you're on Getting in the 69 Camaro for the very first time. Oh, everybody knows this character here. That's Nick, Guitar again ZL1. Oh, you know I'm what? Sure. I forgot my insurance. Oh, you need that. You gotta be insured. <laughs> yeah. The way we drive, we need Once insured. First order of business in the first gen is the buckle up for safety. There's no seatbelt. Wait, yes, there is. Lap only, ladies and gentlemen. What am I doing? This Pull one? it out. Look at this thing. Yep. This is a nice holder for your phone, too. Yeah, check it. <laughs> okay. That's not the original purpose. No. Look at that old GM buckle right there, guys. That's pretty cool. I can't fasten my seat now. All right, now I feel super safe in this 51-year-old car. <laughs> All right. So as you guys notice here, we got a garnet red tint coat. Is that what we call this? It's just called garnet red. Garnet oh, red? It's not a tint coat. Okay. It's, it's just garnet red. And you see these black stripes going down the hood, pretty cool. My first impression driving in this car is, it's awesome. Driving in a classic car, it's just like, I don't know how to describe it. It's all yeah. It, That's yeah. What it is. <laughs> it's, it's badass. Um, as far as Camaros are concerned, anybody who owns them, one of the big things is the glass is not even close to being as uh, angled. So you feel like you can see more out of every window you know, it's not as a uh, tank feeling, if you will. Um, it's got a 454, brand new crate engine, and uh, sounds good. Exhaust isn't loud enough though, which is what we're going to do right now. Yeah, we got plans today for this car. We're going over to his buddy's house. We're gonna lift this thing up in the air and uh, Put some loud pipes on so we'll let you guys hear that too and uh, anybody who is watching this for the first time who doesn't know this guy here but it's probably impossible if you know me you have to know him go check out his channel <laughs> unless, you came, unless you came to mark's channel for that hunting video yeah all you hunters <laughs> out there there's no better way to kill a deer than drive into the woods in your 69 camaro so you know deer love camaros too so if you drive one in the woods they'll come right up to to your car second observation of the car though thus far um call it arrogance but every time i'm driving in my camaro i feel cool and maybe people that aren't into the car game think that's cheesy but guess what i'm sitting in this first gen for the first time and i still feel cool i still feel pretty cool right now i feel like everybody's looking at us even if they're not <laughs> Don't worry, they are. Check the car out, taking some curves. Yeah, it's not the best handling car. Everybody's used to modern drivetrains and all the technology that goes into the vehicles. This shit's visceral, man. There's no power steering. Uh, this is not power steering? There's no buffer to okay. anything. Yeah. It's got disc brakes up front. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it rides smooth from the passenger seat, but I'm sure driving it's got to be such a different yeah. experience. I mean, you're talking 51 years a little bit different these days man yeah the seats are comfortable you can feel they're like squishy squishy like you're so, sitting on an old spring mattress type thing and you said that last night well like, the seats are original but the, the the covers are not so like the actual seat itself because the slider bracket this one was like all rusted and I had to get some WD-40 so it would slide oh okay it was only it was like stuck in one position when I first got the car so I just, the old can of WD-40, <laughs> saved me a hundred bucks because the slider's a hundred bucks for one of these cars. Okay. Which isn't that expensive, yeah. if you think about it. Right. You know, a whole seat bracket and slider. Right. Yeah, that's not too bad. I mean, no. the car's clean. I mean, it doesn't seem like you need to do too much to it, but if yeah, you guys really. know this guy, he'll do some, <laughs> he's going to do some things to the car. <laughs> yeah. Like, you can see this stuff here is like original. You see how it's all the, I think that's original in the dash. But like the dash cover is probably not like 
certain parts of the dash is probably replaced, I would think. Right. But like your vent over there is is is, is like broken. Like oh, if, you, yeah, if you mess around with it. Oh yeah, okay. I it's got all you. detached. Yep, yep. But you know, that's like the those are like the only things on the inside of this car that are like messed up. Okay. I mean everything else, look at these these gauges are brand new here. Um the carpet's pretty much new. The seats are, you know, they're in good condition to do. The headliner's new. <laughs> it's Tony driving his truck behind us, delivering our uh, special weapon for the 69 today. So this is the type of car that you're going to pick up mad chicks in. If Muchacho were to drive this car, he'd be picking up women left and right. But this is what it's about right here, man. 1969, buying this car brand new. It's your parents, it's your grandparents. Or maybe it's yourself if you own one already, but cruising a country scenic road like this, some bends. Sometimes it's not all about top speed, even though this guy's mainly about speed, Mr. Track Guy. But <laughs> this is like America right here, hitting the road. You don't need to go 200 miles an hour, but you got yourself a cool, classic muscle car. And uh, it speaks volumes to American car culture. And uh, this is like the most desired year of the Camaro, so. I feel fortunate and, and happy and super excited for this guy for being able to purchase it. And uh, yeah, so let's get over to the shop here and make this fucker loud. I wasn't revving it out all the way, but. Right, it still sounded good. Yeah. It's quick. You're used to so much horsepower, so much speed, but this thing goes. It actually, I, and the funny thing is like, it, it isn't like slow by any means, but it's not fast by any means either. But the thing is, like, there's, it's got some, you know, pick up. Yeah, it's oh, just pressure. second gear. That's right. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah. The thing shifts good, too. Yeah, it's smooth, dude. Yeah. This thing runs good. It sounds yeah. good. We're going to make yeah. it sound better, but. Hell yeah. Yeah, man. See, and that's all you need. Like, this is the type of car, like, you don't need, you know, zero to 60 in two seconds. You need, like... Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned. Hint, hint. Yeah. Gearing to the rear is very, very low. It's a 308. Okay. So, so, normally, guys do, like, a 355. Well... 391, 373, anything higher, the higher it is. Look at that guy looking at me. Yeah. <laughs> we the just higher, got a thumbs up. The higher it is, the more, uh, the quicker your acceleration is going to be. Gotcha. So I have a really low gear. But but the nice thing about this gear is I can do, look, I'm doing 60 miles an hour right now, fourth gear, and I'm at like 1,700 RPMs. Right. So the highway gear is real nice. You right. know what I mean? Right. Yeah, so the lower gear ratio is like a slower acceleration, but it's it helps the top speed, does it, does it not? Yes. And then yes. The, the higher ones, it, it's like getting you off the line. It's acceleration yeah. and torque, but yeah. then you'll lose top speed. Right. You know, so. Which I, I want a happy medium, and I think that's going to be somewhere around 373. I think yeah. that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Because that's what your gear is in your Camaro. Right. Now you have a six speed. Yes. But still, like. I don't care if I'm sitting at 2,000, 2,500 on the highway. I don't really care. Whatever. Right, it right. Matter to me. Right. So we got the exhaust put on Nick's classic Camaro today. We're gonna go cruise around. We added a Chevelle to the group. Let's see if he can get next to us and show you some uh, shots of this cool ass General Motors product. Another classic. Oh yeah.
All right, Mooch Lifers, it's the next day. We're back. First gen Camaro, driving around for the first time. It was an honor, it was a pleasure. Super excited right now because our friend Nick, Guitar McGen ZL1, What's going on? has graced me with the honor of driving the first gen Camaro. Crazy thrilled right now. Dream car, bucket list car for him. It's a bucket list car for me too. Maybe I'll get one one day if my dreams come true. Um, but for now, you're coming along on this journey. We're gonna drive a first gen Camaro. And, hold, on, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, before we do that. Did you even look under the hood yet? Do you know what you're about to drive? <laughs> no, I don't. What is under here? Here. I know go. what's under there, but let's show you guys you were, uh, what we're working with under the hood. Yeah. Go ahead, take over, Nick. There we go. Show us what we got here. 454, big oh, block. Big block madness. 454 cubic inch crate engine with, what is it, like 2,000 miles? Very about yeah, barely 2,000 miles, yeah. Yeah, so this thing is clean. Check it out, all the chrome. Yep. Power steering, power front disc brakes, big aftermarket radiator. Um, I like. I didn't even realize it, but we just drove this car, just touched it. It's hot, but it's not. It's not that hot. That's how cool this thing runs, which is great. Um, now, so I don't. I won't really have to worry about it in the summer or anything like that. So you know. Just your basic big block build, big block motor. Big block, big power. That's right. So what's the horsepower on this? That, that, that puts out 425 as is. 425. So we just got done doing an exhaust yesterday. So that was in my, my video. Uh, Mark was in that one too. So we just put exhaust on the car yesterday and sounds a lot better. Yep. You'll, you'll hear it here soon. Yep, yep. But might as well give you these. Oh, baby. There you go. Look at this. Oh yeah, it's time to drive the first gen Camaro, baby. Hang on to your mooch life and seat belts. GoPro's running. Let's open this bad boy up. We got the girls in the back seat. Woo! Hello, girls. Hello, Ugh. boy. And we're switching cameras, so let's uh, GoPro this beer. And then Nick pointed this out in his video with Lauren, but uh, you guys remember all the older GM products, you always got your round and square key, round for door locks and trunk. Square is the go key. So we got an aftermarket steering wheel here. Key it on, then you want to give it some gas just mm -hmm. a little bit when you when you start it up at the same time. There you go. Nice. Well, the engine's good already start. warm, so. Yep, good start. Yeah. It's already warm, so it's easier. But yeah. You got your little tuck away yep. buckle here, old school. I think I showed that on camera yesterday. But ugh, I'm a little fatter than guitar them again so <laughs> get a little slack there first what do we call this the boat boat shifter you the got two shifter. options you can put it in d or you can throw it down to first gear and go through the gears so doesn't really matter okay whatever your preference we'll, is we'll just we'll do d for now because i like the d you know? <laughs> <laughs> so the steering wheel feels weird yep the gas pedal feels weird. <laughs> okay, so another observation I'm noticing here too is the distance between the gas pedal and the brake pedal yeah. is high. So when you get off the accelerator and you, you want to brake, yeah, the brake is you have to like lift your foot up. Go right. right. The skinny stock for the yeah, that's all you got. The turn indicators. Turn signal, that's it. All right. all right, here we go on the road. So it sounds amazing, that's a given. Oh yeah. And uh, the steering is, it's got a wobble, a looseness to it, I guess. I don't know how better to describe it, but definitely unmodernized. Yeah. But that's not a bad thing, you know, it's just, it's, I guess it's what you get when you're in a 50 year old vehicle. And uh, <laughs> that's, that's just, you know. I feel really cool right now. <laughs> I feel like, you are. Everybody's staring at me. Like, I'm gonna do this real quick. Like, hey, do you guys like this Camaro? It's not mine, but I'm driving it. Is it? It's this guy's. Is it? Yeah, yeah, he's letting me drive it. He's a good friend. Oh, that is a good friend to trust you with this Camaro. I, I know. Oh, okay. I know. Oh, you got all cameras all types on. Yeah, <laughs> we're, we're, we're camered up. <laughs> Guitar Mageddon ZL1. Oh, on <laughs> Mooch Life. <laughs> She's like, shit, the police are coming. Oh uh, no, the police! We gotta get out of here! <laughs> we should chase him because he's oh. in a Ford. It's Mikey. Oh my yeah. god, what if it was? What was it? For? YouTube. Oh, the YouTuber. Yeah. So you just drive random cars? 
Not random, we're all about them Camaros. All about the Camaros. Yep, yep. There you go. I mean, there's other cars that show up from time to time on his channel, but, nice. but yeah, thanks, have a good day. The seats, like, they're springy, and then I can put my head, like, way back, because the headrest part is, like, below. Does it raise? I don't know. It does, but Let's it, not do it. it might not be, uh. Okay. <laughs> and then, like, you can see all the old Camaro badgery down there. Jeez, man, I'm trying to take up a test drive in the first gen Camaro, first time ever. What's up, we got what like the fuck is F that? FBI. Let's follow him. Let's follow him. Wait, why are all these cars like cutting me off? Because you're driving like a slow poke. Yeah, get the fuck back on it. There you go. Jeez, Louise. I need to go back to Ohio where it's safe. Whoa. What the fuck is going on? I should, I should call Mikey and see what the hell is going on. Yeah, we need to. Working for his own father. Oh, they're stopped right up there. It must have been an accident. Oh shit. I hope everybody's okay with this. good no one's hurt but that's remember lid when we were driving to camaro fest and we saw a pt cruiser yeah, burnt yeah. to a crisp yeah it's like that was fun. all these dodge mopar fiat cars they catch on fire I drive a dodge. yeah yours gonna catch on fire one day too we're gonna roll it down you're gonna get a hit under this bridge here i'll shift for you uh wait yeah. i'll shift for you all right guys we're gonna hit under the bridge here real quick we're gonna downshift and kind of gun it real quick. Here, slow, go slow down, slow down. Slow down, slow down. All right, whenever you're ready. Just gun it and then get out of the bridge? Whenever you're good. things I'm noticing too driving is the side view mirrors they're like little classic looking mirrors when I'm looking at the hood lines I feel like I'm in an aggressive car but when you look at the side mirrors they're like little petite mirrors so it kind of gives you like <laughs> a Frankie Valley vibe right lid <laughs> yeah I tried to adjust them to see my blind spot yeah but now I've screwed myself on everything else because I can only see the blind spot uh, okay. you know, this is such a small mirror yeah right you have to either yeah it's like choose your poison either see right behind you good or see your blind spot good but not both when the car's at idle and you're sitting long enough you get some uh, exhaust fumes I noticed yesterday when we got back my clothes smelled like gas a little bit <laughs> yeah which was a cool thing but it's it's just like the old car era with with ventilation and such it's not as good or whatever so you'll get some some odors some manly car odors they could yeah. probably make a yankee candle if they wanted to that <laughs> was like garage fumes i like the smell of the what car. the smell of this car the smell yeah what's it smell like like old car but in a good way yeah it's like the leather you got yeah. this little holder here yeah oh is that is that the oh shit bar yeah that's the oh shit handle back in the day right here so there's nothing up here huh no no, no. so the driver's oh shit handles the steering wheel yeah
glad I'm friends with you even more now because you have a cool car, a cool classic car. Two, push it up into two. Right now? Yep, just do it. Oh, there yeah. it is. Three. That's, yep. yep. You don't go too far. Yep. Yeah. Look down here. See, it's yellow at 55. Yeah. Don't go past that. All right. All right, guys, so I'm down and I'm going to manually shift these three gears here and then get up in the drive for the overdrive gear. I guess they call fourth gear the overdrive yeah. gear. Yep. yep. So I'm not going to rev it all the way out but we'll get on a little bit and i'll just use this boat shifter here and then we're gonna have to get gas after this and then off to the gas station because we've been driving for half an hour and they use the whole tank <laughs> <laughs> big block power yes <laughs> you have to say about guys with big blocks turn the left we hit this straight away we'll go ahead and give it give us some muscle on the side of the road. <laughs> he's waiting to pull you over. It was like a taxi. I'm like, no! Mark's first pull and it's going to first gen. Yeah. He's pulled over. <laughs> <laughs> that would be great. That would actually be good. So, now we're pulling to the gas station. What side's the gas tank on? The gas thing on? Uh, uh, I'm used to looking at my little gas gauge. Oh, yeah, what side's it on? I don't know. Left. Left? No. This side? Driver's no. side? It's not a, there's no gas door. That's right. It's in the back by the plate. Uh, so you can oh, yeah. pull in anywhere you want. <laughs> <laughs> I was freaking Holy. him out. <laughs> what are you doing? We're not... Now that you've experienced everything, you, have, you almost experienced everything. But to get the full experience, we got to go fill it up. Uh -oh. Because, you know, that does come with the territory of driving a muscle car. You mean that you don't just drive forever? Yeah. And you don't have to put any money in the gas tank? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, Thanks so much to my buddy Nick at Tarmageddon ZL1 for letting me drive this wonderful, beautiful machine. Um, check him out on his channel. I'm sure anybody watching this already is subscribed to him. Anybody new seeing this video for the first time, looking up first gen Camaros, definitely go subscribe to his channel. It's Guitarmageddon ZL1. I'll put his link in the description somewhere on the screen or whatever you say, do those things. Put his, put his name on the video somewhere for you guys. We're gonna go ahead and throw a bunch of cash at it so we can keep driving. <laughs> We're gonna drive yeah. this thing into the dusk. <laughs> We're just gonna reach it. Look at that. Uh, there we go. Get it in there. Get Success. It in there. Oh my god. Look at that pork job, guys. <laughs> All right, Mooch Lifers. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed first gen Camaro content. Uh, later on this year, we will be getting together. We're going to do some cool things with my car and his car. If you haven't seen my car yet, I have a 5th Gen Camaro. It's a 2014 1SS. And uh, this is Mooch Life. Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you next time. And peace out.